So now what you want to do is check out the locks. They also have bolts on them that might get rusty and might get a little sticky. So we're going to double check those too. Okay, so now I want to take a close-up look at the locks that are on ladders, extension ladders that is, and I have kind of a pseudo diagram of it here. Um, I know it's kind of hard to, uh, to really see clearly, but uh, work with me here. I think you can understand uh, the red dots indicate the, the side rail. We're kind of taking a ladder that's normally standing up and down, and we're turning it flat sideways. And so... Uh, <sighs> You know, basically the, the rungs go through the red part here. That's where the steps are. And this is the thing that kind of flips up and down as you extend the ladder up and down and then locks on the uh, lower portion of the ladder. Uh, it's got two pivot points, one here and then one here. Uh, this is the part that allows the whole device to pop up and down. And then this is the part where there's a little black or red, sometimes uh, plastic piece that, you know, I'm not going to get into the intense mechanics of it because it's just kind of hard to explain. You just have to look at it to, to see how it works. But it's just another part that uh, allows this device to work like it's supposed to work. And this is another part that might need some WD-40 on it because it needs to be able to freely flap back and forth just like this needs to be able to freely flap up and down as you're extending that ladder. So make sure you squirt both of these places uh, with your WD-40. So just put in a little bit of WD-40. Um, you might want to uh, have a rag handy with you when you're climbing that ladder and you can check the rung uh, before you step on it.